people. I've been meaning to do this for months and uh, it's based off of an old hairstyle I found on a fashion blog that unfortunately I don't think the video exists anymore otherwise I just would have reposted it from there but I'm gonna try and do it here. So uh, basically what you're gonna need are two hair elastics. I tend to use these tiny little plastic ones and um, Again, these are my favorite things on the planet. These are, I don't, I'm not exactly sure what you call them, but they're uh, twisty bobby pins anyway. Um, depends on how long your hair is. I can use up to five since my hair is so long, but uh, usually you probably won't need more than three. So now you want to grab a comb and uh, part your hair on whatever side you'd like to start on. Once you've done that, my hair's actually a bit damp since I got out of the shower a couple hours ago and then I just let it air dry. I find if it's damp it works a bit better, but if your hair is too damp when it dries it gets really frizzy and I know I don't like that. So what you're going to do is on the side that you just parted, so on this side for me I guess, um, on my left side, what I'm going to do is start French braiding just a very small amount back and this can be regular or Dutch, but I'm just going to do regular for simplicity's sake. And once you get once you get a couple inches back, what you're going to do is stop French braiding. And then so long gets caught at the ends. Just braid it normally the rest of the way down. I end up switching, ha switching hands a lot when I do this. And then just braid it to the ends. Excuse my rather messy bedroom behind me. I still haven't finished unpacking. Um, the lighting isn't very good in here either. Oops. And it's good if this one's pretty tight because this one's going to be the root for the rest of your braid. And then once you're on the end, you're going to want to tie it off. These are really stretchy, so I can do this a whole bunch of times. So what you're going to do now is regular braid, uh, French, sorry, French braid the rest of your hair across and around the back. So I'm just going to start this now and I you can't tell but this is the second or third time I've tried to do this but uh, so start right at that first part that you made and try to keep the braid as close to your hairline as you can because that way it actually goes around the outside instead of across which I find doesn't look quite as nice but um, And keep it, again, fairly tight, although it's your preference. I find if I'm Dutch braiding, it's better if it's a little bit loose because it looks a bit nicer. But again, it's, it's up to you. Um, so now I'm behind my ear. So I kind of switch my hand position a bit. This does get kind of tiring if you can't do it really fast. So... If you, if you get tired, you can always just clip it out of the way and stop for a bit. And again, try to keep it close to your hairline, so I tend to pull more with this hand. And I'm starting to bring it around. Again, try to make sure you're not missing any big pieces of hair. Because since this is all going to be up, it looks a bit funny if you have any long pieces that are hanging out. Get the other braid out of the way. Hoping I have all of it. Yes, I do. 
So I'm just gonna get this out of the way. And braid the rest of the way down. My parents are at home, which is why I'm doing this now, because I feel like they'd find this pretty weird, but... So I'm almost at the ends. Once you're at the end... It's better if you can get as close, braid as close to the end as possible. You don't want loose hair at the end, because I find it's really hard to hide away. But it is hard to get even because uh, you're braiding it not directly down your back. So I find I get uneven and lengths a lot unless I get lucky. So now that that's done, uh, I'm going to start pinning it away. So what I do first is I grab the smaller braid that you made first. And what you're going to do is turn it, and I'm turning it counter. I'm turning it clockwise. Sorry, and. Kind of wrap it around the base of the loose braid that you made and then tuck the end under and then what you want to do is take this and put it where the the hidden end is and just twist it in. Now this should stay here on its own while you're grabbing the next one. What you're going to do with this piece is grab it and pull it up and over and then tuck that end in as well. Then you take as ever many of these as you need and kind of put them at different try to put them at different points around the top. And then twist them all in there. This I find can actually can usually stay in for Eight to ten hours, no hairspray needed. As long as, and it is pretty tight if you do it properly. So, one more. And sometimes I find the the pins lock up with each other if you've done them in not the right places. But there you go. It's all out of the way. Um, if you can, if you're not totally happy with it, you can always stick some more pins in. But uh, yeah, it only takes me usually about three to four minutes, which is pretty good. Uh, it stays in better if you have slightly wet hair, not really wet hair, but, um, and yeah, hope that works out. Uh, let me know what you guys would like to see next, or if there's something that I've done already, or if there's something you want me to try. Um, I recently relearned how to fishtail braid, so not totally awesome at that yet, but, uh, and the crown braid is really, really hard, but I would like to do that eventually since I find a lot of the online videos are really, really crappy. So, anyway, have a good weekend, and goodbye!